They say the early bird gets the worm, but the scan eagle spots the insurgents. These high-flying, unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, patrol the skies all over Afghanistan. We provide intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance for, uh, for U.S. troops, for coalition troops, and uh, our Afghan partners. Scan Eagle has no weapons and can spend up to 18 hours in the sky. With Scan Eagle overhead, U.S. and Afghan ground forces can feel safer knowing someone's watching their back. Reporting from Afghanistan, I'm Petty Officer James Stolopek. No, no, not until he's ready to push the button.
Stop. Unhook each wing and then you'll see it drop down and fold up into the fold here. This is good. We have uh, 10 people um, that work at this location. We operate uh, 10 aircraft and usually have two of them in the air at all times. We provide intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance for, uh, 
for U.S. troops, for coalition troops, and uh, our Afghan partners. Um, our job, our job standardly is to uh, to launch out early in the morning and provide overwatch. Um, sometimes we'll get tasking. Sometimes um, we'll look at particular areas to. Uh, to verify if um, places are clear for our troops to go into. Sometimes we'll overwatch them and uh, enable them um, to, uh, to have situational awareness of where they are, um, to conduct their mission, to get home safely. Uh, sometimes they'll task us, sometimes we'll, uh, we'll tell them where they might want to go or not go. Um, Scan Eagle is a, a, a versatile and robust system. We have the, the capability of launching and recovering from a, a single uh, location. Uh, we don't require a runway. We don't require a tremendous amount of support. And um, we can provide uh, necessary assets in uh, uh, very austere locations. Scan Eagle originally was, was used as a maritime platform. Um, many times they could uh, uh, search out schools of fish um, from a maritime platform. So you can do the, the same sort of uh, look and see from, from, a, uh, from a maritime platform and uh, that same capability can be used on land and pretty much anywhere you are. We have multiple platforms uh, on the Scan Eagle. Uh, the standard uh, resolution daytime camera, we have a high resolution camera. We also can fly at night with an infrared capability. I'm Commander Dave Shea. I'm the officer in charge of a Scan Eagle detachment in Afghanistan. We have a 10-person detachment. We have uh, four military and six civilian. We operate 10 aircraft. We usually have two of them in the air at one time. Um, we support uh, the, the local troops, our coalition partners, and uh, our, our host Afghan partners. Um, we provide um, tar we, we provide intel intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. And what that means, um, whether we have a convoy on the road or we have troops out, we can provide overwatch. We can um, look at things they want us to see, provide them situational awareness. We can tell them whenever there are bad things around, um, enable them to get home safely. We have the capability to fly night and day. We can use high resolution or regular, regular resolution. Um, we can take still shots, full motion video. We can operate at night. And most importantly is we can operate from a single small platform location. We don't need a runway. Uh, it's a tactical UAV, meaning that uh, it's meant to be out with the troops and to be launched within 30 minutes. So, what are, what are some the small the design, the uh, launch system, and the recovery system. It makes it so you can be out in the middle of nowhere and actually get your launch and recoveries. So, you can be on ships, you can be, you can be basically anywhere. And you don't need a runway. Some people say it's, it's like a video game, and it, it could be considered a little bit like a video game, just a little bit more serious. Uh, we're able to give them information of things ahead of them, behind them, all sides, 360 views, and uh, let them know what's coming. Scanning your capabilities, we're able to fly during the day and at night. Um, the aircraft can stay up for as long as 16 to 18 hours. Um, we have uh, some really good, capable, EO cameras now that can be used to actually identify targets. The aircraft itself can go up to about 18,000 feet depending on the, the actual payload. So for normal missions we're actually flying in between like six to 8,000 feet. Uh, the aircraft itself is very portable. It comes in what we call a coffin. Um, the coffin is just basically a tough box that you can open up, pull the aircraft out, insert the wings and then uh, get it prepped for launch. Uh, recovery is a pretty unique recovery system. We use what's called a sky hook. It has a rope coming down and we actually fly the wing into the rope which then engages into a hook system. Which that makes us capable of being in different terrains and everything without having to have a runway. That's why it's called a tactical UAV. My name is Jeff Offenberg. I'm a Scanigo UAV operator. I've been doing this for uh, 10 years now. I started off in the U.S. Army flying the Shadow 200, did that for four years, got out, started working for a company called in situ flying the Scan Eagle. Um, it's a great tactical UAV, um, able to deploy with all the soldiers, and I'm very proud of what I do. Scan Eagle is able to provide intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance for the troops on the ground. What that means is we're able to fly over top of the troops, 
look around, tell them exactly what's going on, give them situational awareness of everything around them. And what that does for the troops is it keeps them informed on all the information and helps them with their missions and make it back safe.